hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i'm going to explain you one more problem about finding the unknown values when the rank is given by using the echelon form so in the previous video i explained how to calculate the rank of a matrix using echelon form and also when the rank is given how to find a particular element in the matrix right so i've explained those things in the previous video now in this video also we are going to do one more problem on how to find out the unknown value so basically rank is equal to 2 means what do you mean by this number of non zero rows right so rank is nothing but number of non zero rows so non zero rows should be two so you should have two non zero rows that is only one row can become all zeros okay all zeros can you all zeros are allowed only in one row got it so now let us see uh, first what we have to do we need to identify the diagonal right so let us first identify the diagonal so yeah this is the diagonal and mark the elements below the diagonal and you should make these three things zero right so first how can you make this one as zero simple r2 is r2 minus r1 simply one minus one you get zero right so r2 minus r1 next how do you make this one as zero r3 r3 minus 3 minus 3 if you do you will get 0 how to get 3 using 1 1 into 3 you will get 3 right so 3 r1 you should do got it so let us see what do we get so first row will be as it is second one r2 minus r1 right 1 minus 1 you get 0 next minus 1 minus 1 you get minus 2 and k minus of minus 1 see k minus of minus 1 this is k plus 1 k plus 1 okay minus 1 minus 1 you get minus 2 again right next the third one will be r3 minus 3 r1 right r3 is 3 3 minus 3 into r1 3 minus 3 into 1 3 minus 3 it is 0 done next r3 minus 3 r1 1 minus 3 into 1 which is 1 minus 3 minus 2 so you get minus 2 here next Zero minus three into minus one, which you will get at zero minus of minus three, zero plus three, you get three. Done. Next one minus three into one again, so you get minus two. So here you will get minus two. Okay. Done. Now, next what you have to do again. So what is the diagonal here? this is the diagonal and the elements below the diagonal are 0 0 and minus 2 so now your goal is to make minus 2 as 0 so in order to make minus 2 as 0 what you can do you can use this r2 because minus 2 minus 2 both are same right so you can subtract both of them so r3 will become r 3 minus r2 so first row will be as it is second row also will be as it is because we are not applying any operations on r2 right 0 Minus two k plus one minus two done next. What you have to do? You need to make you need to make changes to this one. R three minus R two you get zero zero minus zero here minus two minus of minus two minus two plus two, so you get zero right. So here you will get zero next three minus of minus one R three minus R two sorry three minus k plus one. So what do you get? Three minus k. Minus one, which is nothing but two minus k. You will get three minus one is two minus k. So two minus k. Next, minus two minus two again. You will get zero. So very simple now. What you can observe here. Zero, zero, zero. Three elements are zero. We have only one non-zero element here, right? So the rank of the matrix is what two? So the rank of the matrix is two. Basically, we have here these two as non-zero rows. Why can we take only these two as non-zero rows? Means obviously there is no zero here. Here we have minus two and minus two. Of course, we can make the value of this one as zero, but 
you if you can make this one as zero minus two and minus two you cannot change them right so here you have already three zeros one two three already three zeros are there it is very easy to convert this into a zero value which is nothing but you take two minus k is equal to zero then you will get two is equal to k which is nothing but k is equal to two so the unknown value is k and that is equal to two got it this is how you will solve the unknown values problem okay if you want to take the screenshot i'll zoom in just a second you can take the screenshot of the problem if you want to but um, i suggest you instead of taking the screenshot i suggest you to do it parallelly with me uh, so that you will understand it in a more better way and if i make any mistakes at any point of time then also you will be able to identify those mistakes okay so this is all about this video in the next video let's start learning about the canonical form so canonical form is nothing but the normal form we use that also to find the rank of the matrix only okay done so this is all about this video thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic if you're still having any doubts just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure